Hi everyone, today I'm going to explore my watercolors a bit more and I'll use a few colors that I haven't used in a very long time. Many years ago, Daniel Smith used to sell their watercolors as triads, which are sets of three. In the pack, they would put a little flyer with swatches and the name of the paint, as well as the properties of the paint and then the light fastness, the granulation, the opacity and all that. And there was also a line drawing that you could use to reproduce a painting that they showed as an example of what you could paint with those colors. And that uh, example was on the last page of the flyer. There was no step-by-step -step or it was not um, a paint by number. It was just to give you an idea of what you could paint. Those triads were sold uh, at a very good price, actually, anywhere between $18 and $25, if I can remember correctly, which is a very good deal com considering how expensive each tube is. So for the triad I'm trying today, I've got uh, the Bronzite Genuine, the Hematite Genuine, and the Potter's Pink. The Bronzite and Hematite are both uh, part of the Primatic line, which are made with uh, natural... Uh, minerals and rocks and all three granulate and are very light fast so the sample painting that they show with this is a shell and rather than using the line drawing I just went on Pixabay and I found a beautiful picture of a shell and I decided to sketch that one and paint it now my goal besides using those colors that I rarely use was to uh, paint something in my sketchbook and practice painting uh, in a loose way. I tend to be very tight with my artwork and probably because I use uh, pencils all the time, I really like to add details, uh, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But I think when artists can paint loosely or uh, do loose artwork, they're more free with their work. They aren't fixated on trying to um, add all the little uh, details. And so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. It's very hard for me to make my paintings or drawings look realistic, but loose as well. So that's my practice for the day. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the result. And I really enjoyed using those three colors. Something that I didn't realize is that the Bronzite Genuine has little sparkles in it and it's actually totally natural. I thought originally that I had not either cleaned my brush properly after I had did some swatches of my iridescent colors, but as I was reading the description again, I figured out, no, that is a natural effect. So that's very pretty and especially if you use it to, uh, to paint sand which is really the perfect color to paint sand but if you want to use it to paint something else you might not necessarily want to have uh, sparkles on your painting so that's something to keep in mind but it's a beautiful color the potter's pink i thought was a bit sticky but it could be because i've had it for so long i did use a toothpick to stir it in the tube but uh, the color is be really beautiful. It looks like a, a pink you'd find in nature. It's not too bright, not too pale. I think it looks perfect. I like the hematite as well, but because I didn't use it very much, just for the shadows, you don't really see very much that if you do a wash and ha when it granulates, it has a little a pink tone to it, which is kind of cool because it's a brown pigment. Uh, so it's a very pretty color. I'm so glad I bought this triad um, when I had the chance to. I bought quite a few others and uh, maybe if you like this video, I'll try to do more demonstration with the other triads that I have. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.